So this study is remarkable because it managed to sequence 400 human genomes from nearly 150 populations globally. This was made possible through generous donations of hundreds of sample donors and of course the collaboration team which has nearly 100 researchers from over 70 institutions worldwide. I think that the main take-home message from our study is that we see the Papuans derive some of the genetic ancestry from an earlier additional expansion of the Africa. We were studying the genetic relationship between human population worldwide and came across the fact that Papuans and to some extent Negrito population from islands of East Asia share for the most part the same evolutionary history as all of other non-Africans but they may contain also some remnants of a chapter that is yet to be described but let's have a look at the subway plot. Let's divide the picture into two main portions being the left hand side Africa and the right hand side all the continents outside of Africa. From fossil records and genetic evidence we know that before our story begins at least two archaic populations called Neanderthals and Denisova were already present outside of Africa. Since we are not entirely sure about their mutual relationships and about where they actually differentiated, for the sake of his story we represent them as two separate lines. Then the human line starts to differentiate within Africa, where based on the samples we have available we can define a number of major splits within the human family. At some point, surely not before 75,000 years, a given group of humans starts splitting from the main human lineage and eventually from East Africans to give rise to what is known as the Out of Africa expansion. This expansion, in dark blue, is responsible for the presence of the vast majority of human genomic legacy outside of Africa today, which is represented here by these blue pie charts. However, we do know from previous studies from other research groups, also confirmed by our results, that after leaving Africa, these humans had mixed with Neanderthals, in orange, and the ancestors of modern Papuans also with Denisova, in red. Now, according to our results, we see that this overall scenario, which is in vast agreement with the ones proposed by other research groups, cannot fully account for some genetic peculiarities observed in the Papuan genomes we analyzed. Particularly, we believe that at least one additional human expansion out of Africa took place before the major one just described. These people diverged from the rest of Africans at around 120,000 years ago and colonized part of the non-African continent afterwards. We call them XOA here since they got almost extinct after the main out of Africa took place. Today we see that the genome of modern Papuans is composed by at least 2% of such an expansion, here represented by this small light blue slice. We divided the genome of each population into short segments that each had a single genetic history and we modelled these segments. Papuans have ancestry from an ancient population known to us from the ancient DNA that was found in the Denisovan cave. This Denisovan is related to the Neanderthals. We tried to model Papuans as a mixture of Eurasians and the Denisova. But this model wouldn't fit, so we considered adding an extra population. We inferred that this extra population contributed 2% to the modern Papuan genome, and we estimated it to have split from Africans around 120,000 years ago. The type of approach that we used, based on trying to infer whole segments of DNA that were inherited together from some ancient event, is very powerful, but it is complex. This does make interpretation of our findings difficult. The remaining uncertainty can be resolved either with ancient DNA or further modelling of sequence data. But it is clear that human genetic history is more complicated than we've previously been able to quantify. So you also map the patchy network of uh, genetic barriers. Some of these are obvious, like uh, the Himalayas, but the others, more subtle ones, um, make up a nice, interesting structure, for example, in Europe. Another big part of our study was um, about selection. This was uh, chiefly done by the team from Cambridge University, led by Professor Thomas Kivisit. We were interested in how humans adapted to new environments as they expanded out of Africa. And indeed we found uh, several genes connected with uh, pathogen resistance, for example, which serve as good candidates uh, for Natural selection. So the data we generated is freely available for, from our website and also from public repositories. We encourage everybody to download it and uh, go much further than we did.